going on guys austin with united exterior cleaning and pressure washing austin texas um was not gonna do a youtube video today um just because today's kind of a light uh light work day and i got a couple awesome videos planned for you guys uh monday and tuesday uh super bowl today so we'll be doing that a little later but i did want to show you guys what i'm doing over here um just because this is kind of a unique little uh, job here. We got an office building, Spyglass Realty, Austin, Texas. Um, and I'll show you guys the pictures. Well, actually, I, I'll edit them in right here so you guys can check them out. But all of this used to be covered in black mold. Um, and as you can see, the solution I got is working like lightning straight up one more layer and this will be perfect if you guys come over here you guys can see it's really working well over here that's this all used to be mossy that's all dead moss right here that's dead moss look at it it's coming off and the solution we got it's a little cold it's probably like 55 degrees, 10 o'clock. I had about nine, 10 gallons of straight shock, straight bleach, 12.5 shock. Then I went ahead and filled it with water to about right here. So not quite the 50, 50. I'm probably about 18 gallons of water or eight gallons of water to 10 gallons of shock. Probably somewhere in the, I don't know, six to 7% range. So obviously really, really strong, but you know it's cold really cold well not really cold obviously you guys in the north have it a lot colder than we do but you guys know sodium hypochlorite doesn't work the best in cold weather and uh when you're dealing with stone like this you're gonna need at least a four percent for you to be somewhat effective um if it was the summertime 100 degrees uh, i could use a four percent on this all day but you know this stone is nice and cold and i need something that's pretty effective to do the job for me not too much shrubbery around here one little bush to worry about that's about it and uh, we're gonna go ahead and clean this concrete for them and we'll be out guys i'll go ahead and uh send you a little video of what the after looks like um but this is a 400 dollars ticket for us this morning and after this we're gonna go wash a house um, down in south austin so stay tuned Okay, we're all done. Got the concrete all the way around cleaned up. Applied a six to seven percent sodium hypochlorite mixture on this stone with about, I'd say, 60 ounces or so of uh, LA Awesome laundry detergent. So, yeah, it worked fantastic. So, I'm fixing to wrap it up and uh, head to the next one. All right, guys, we're at the second job. Um, this is gonna be a lot easier than I thought. My, I was told I'm gonna be washing the front and the back. Um, and turns out, we're not gonna be washing any of this brick. It's perfectly clean. Um, I did, however, say that we should do the driveway. They don't wanna do that. So they're just gonna pay me $200 to wash the dirt along that bottom side and kind of just clean up a little bit. We got some dirt right there. We're gonna get under those gutters and wash a thing or two and we'll be out of here. I don't know, like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, we'll be out of here. And uh, Super Bowl tonight, who you got? I'm going over to a buddy's house, best friend. Gonna do some brisket. Go watch Tom Brady kick some ass and get his seventh Super Bowl ring, baby. Catch y'all later. So my original plan was to 12 volt the rest of this 2% on this building because I need this empty so I can uh, fill it up with bleach Monday, tomorrow morning because I got a bunch of jobs Monday and Tuesday that I'm gonna need a bunch of bleach for. But this house is not dirty. Two percent is overkill, and I'm not gonna. I'm just not gonna. You know, I'm, I'm just knocking off dirt, so I don't need to really use two percent. So what I'm gonna do is downstream. 
my last batch that I used on that office building I just did. It's about six, seven, about seven percent um, solution here. Dilution, the dilution rate is 10 to one in the downstreamer. Do the math, 7% divided, divided by 10. That gives me a, um, a put down rate of 0.7. So I'm gonna be shooting 0.7 on this home today. And uh, that'll be fine. That's perfect. It'll knock off any algae and dirt. Okay, that 0.7% worked very well. Got all the dirt and algae under those window sills. Like I said, this place wasn't that dirty at all. So, came pretty clean. Downstreamed everything. Um, it's been sitting for about three, four, five minutes, somewhere around that range, and I'm gonna go ahead and I go ahead and I went ahead and uh, put the downstreaming stick into my water tank, and I like to do that because instead of flushing it out after, I can just flush it out with water while I'm rinsing. So it saves me some time and it's a little bit more efficient. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rinse this bad boy. guys we are out we are out we are done for the day started at about 10 30 it is one o'clock um and that's two jobs two and a half hours that second job was nothing got done in like 45 minutes i went over there expecting to clean the whole house pretty much and the homeowner came out i was like oh no I just go ahead and knock off the dirt there and you know knock off this there and i was like uh 
I charged the realtor, you know, my minimum fee to go out there and clean the whole house. But hey, look, that's what they want me to do. That's fine. Uh, the truck doesn't leave the house for two uh, for less than two hundred dollars, and I don't show up to a house for less than two hundred dollars. So um, we just went ahead. I made sure I did, I did a good job. You know, I kind of felt bad if I'm if I'm over there just kind of rinsing something off and I'm making two hundred dollars for thirty minutes. I'm gonna make sure I do a good job. So I went ahead and cleaned the gutters. Uh, you know, we down so downstream the whole house pretty much the whole back and front. Made sure all the brick was cleaned up. So I, the garage, cleaned the garage. So made sure I did a good job. Uh, guys, I got to tell you the best investment I've made so far outside of the truck, you know, the truck and the, and the decals, that's all good. The best thing that I've done so far for my business is hose reels. Oh my Lord. The bent, the, the idea that you can just get done with a job and re crank the hose and be out of there in two minutes is just, just a godsend guys. As you guys know, last year I had my avalanche and I had my, you know, my four gallon a minute pressure washer thrown back there. I had my 150 foot of garden hose, 150 or 150 foot of uh, non-marking high pressure hose thrown in the back of the truck and the trunk. And then my $400 Northern tool soft wash system thrown back there. And that came with a hundred foot of, uh, what is it? You know, vinyl hose or whatever. Guys, it was a mess. I looked unprofessional. I looked like a little sophomore and high school kid, you know, trying to save up for college guys. It was a mess. But we got it done, and um, we did that big commercial job. Uh, that I, uh, if you guys go back a couple videos, it's that 13,000 square foot soft wash we did. That was a like a $3,000 job, and I pretty much, I didn't pocket any money on that. I took out my money for taxes, and I took the rest of that money, and I freaking bought, made sure I bought the truck. I got uh, my Gen 2 soft wash system, and everything went back in the business, guys. And here I am rolling around a professional, a professional rig, and uh, I gotta tell you, it boosts your confidence. Your confidence goes through the roof whenever you're driving around a rig like this, you know? You got your name on it, you got all your equipment, you got your hose reels on the sides, you got your ladders up top all strapped down. You look like a fucking professional. Excuse my language. Hopefully YouTube doesn't dock me for that. You know? So as soon as you can afford to, you gotta, gotta get some of these things going, you know? Don't be doing a big ass expensive job and you know spend it at the bars guys if you guys want this business to continue to pay for you continue to you know put money in your pocket continue to you know pay your rent you got to put money back into it you got to feed the beast that's what that boy grant cardone says feed the beast <laughs> oh man but uh what do you guys got for the super bowl drop it down in the comments by the way, if you guys like the content I'm putting out, please like and subscribe, throw down a comment, helps the channel. Um, I've said this a couple times, but the idea for this video, this channel is not so much to tell you guys how much I'm making, because I don't really care. You know, $200 isn't a lot of money, but it's just more so to inspire you guys and be like, hey, look, if you guys got a full-time job or, you know, if you got, you guys got, you guys got your own thing going, you can do a side gig and just kind of start, start from scratch and build it up. You know, go out and get your little uh, $200 pressure washer. Two years ago when I was doing landscaping, I got a $300 pressure washer. I was making 15 bucks an hour doing landscaping for my friend's dad. And I had my little $300 pressure washer on the side. And as, as I was doing uh, landscaping for him, I went ahead and asked the homeowner, I'll pressure wash the driveway for a hundred bucks. And that's just kind of how you start out. But the idea for this channel is just, you know, I'm 24. And I just kind of, you know, young guy, I just want to show you guys, and I don't know where I see myself. I don't, I don't know what the future holds for me, but the beauty of it is I'm going to take you guys along with it. And five years from now, I mean, I don't know. I, my idea is I want to, you know, be big into real estate and have the biggest exterior cleaning company in Austin. But what will be so cool is if I took you guys through the whole journey with me, you know, I'm right now I'm one man, one truck. And I'm getting my marketing going. This year is going to be awesome. But, you know, how cool would it be if you guys to go back in the channel and see where I came from? That'd be so freaking cool. You know, so many YouTubers, YouTubers out there that are big in business, you know, they don't they don't have any content on their channel from what they started out. You know, you don't you can't you, you don't you're never able to see what it was in the old days. You know, you just see where there are then. You know, I figure, man, I have my potential. So and so big and I have so much you know great aspirations out there great ideas and you know I want to do a lot of great things I want to take you guys along with me and 
you know and if I can inspire a couple of you guys to do the same thing then you know that's what it's all about you know I get you know making money is cool but the ultimate gratification for me is just showing people that they, that they can do the same thing you know helping people you know I want to get to a point where I have money to where I can go downtown and you know give people homeless people twenty dollars you know every single homeless person I see twenty bucks or go and you know feed feed people in need go and help people that are looking to make an extra buck for their family show them how they can do the same thing you know it doesn't need to be pressure washing it can be landscaping it can be any type any type of service business you just need to go out there and hustle go door to door go get your name out there you know the biggest thing if you're not if you're not big in business and you're not you don't have the website you don't have the google presence the biggest thing you can do is just start telling everyone everyone you know needs to know what you do go knock on doors get out of your comfort zone shouldn't be that scary to go knock on a door and talk to them about you know washing the house the worst thing they can say is no you're never going to see them again that's it you know that's kind of that was my, my, my mentality when i went down to that neighborhood guys go look at a couple videos ago i was in this neighborhood each house had to have been worth at least two million dollars and here i am just a dude you know living living in my apartment and i'm gonna go over here and just cruise down this gated community and go knock on doors you know my mentality was hey look these are people that i know that can afford it they like their houses uh to look good and i was like shit let's go see what's up and uh, although I didn't get any action or any deals closed th there, as you guys can see last night, my last video, I just had a guy text me yesterday and we're gonna clean his roof. Let's go on door to door. You know, it's a numbers game. Go out there, go, go, get, go get your name out there. Doesn't matter what you do. If you're in marketing and you want a career in marketing, dude, call every freaking small business out there and talk to them about running your SEO. Talk to them about managing your Facebook. Talk to them about Google. You know, I get people. I get. Uh, I get people that run social media agencies, little whatever you want to call it, uh, uh, little business marketer managers, calling me and emailing me all the time, talking to me about they want to take over my. Uh, they want to take over my marketing, and these these are charging like five hundred bucks, thousand bucks a month, two thousand dollars a month to run your stuff, and that's worth it. I mean, holy shit! There's this one guy that. Uh, that I really would love to take over my marketing. He charges about $1,500 a month, and that's nothing because he runs, he specifically does pressure washing. His name is Jonathan Henderson um, from Pressure Washing Marketing Pros. This dude runs and manages some of the most successful pressure washing companies in the US, all over the US. He's got one in Austin too, and guess what? They're number one. And I would love for him to help me, but he's not going to be able to help me because he already has someone in Austin. So there's a conflict of interest there. And uh, second, I can't afford it right yet, right now. But you can bet on as soon as I am able to afford it, I will be paying someone a bunch of money to uh, run my Facebook, run my Google, make sure I'm at the top on Google, make sure my website is spectacular, make sure my online presence is everywhere run my Google ads, run my Facebook ads. I mean, that's a job and it's well worth it. So anyway, guys, I've been running on for about nine minutes now. So I'm going to go ahead and hang up the phone. If you guys like the content, please like and subscribe. Peace.